Welcome back to another episode of our currency series. Today we'll be adding an inventory and I will not I won't lie to you guys, it's gonna be a function heavy day. We're not gonna be creating any clans, but this is a necessary video. So let's get straight into it. Okay, here I am in my Visual Studio code. And so what I'm gonna start off by doing is I'm gonna start off by adding two more tables to this. So the first one we can literally just copy this and alter it a bit. So we're gonna start off with we're gonna change bank to inventory or just in and then we're gonna put in three little I guess items. So it's gonna be the item ID which is gonna be a laptop, phone, and then a fake ID. Okay just like that. Now that we have that what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another one so we're doing await cursor dot execute and this one is a bit different so we're gonna do create table if not exists and this is gonna be called shop and here we can add all the items that will be available for the users in the shop so it's gonna be name which is gonna be a text then we're gonna have id which is also gonna be text we're gonna have a description which you guessed it, it's going to be text. And then lastly, we're going to have a cost, which is going to be an integer. So now that we have those, what we can do is we can actually start on creating some of our functions that will allow us to configure those. So the first function that we want to make is create inventory. So we're going to do async def, and we're going to just literally copy this actually. And we're going to change this to inventory, so inv. Insert into INV, and when we create the inventory, we want to set all these to zero. So we're just going to do zero and zero. And that's literally it. Now, the next one we're going to do is get inventory because we have to get their inventory somehow. So, once again, we're just going to copy this. Going to go a couple, add some spacing, and paste it back in. And then we're going to do get INV. And over here in the select, instead of selecting wallet bank and max bank, what we're going to do is we're going to select a laptop, phone, and fake ID, just like so. And then, now that we have that from inventory, now that we have that, if data is not, instead of doing create balance, we're going to do create INV, and then we're going to return zero. Okay, now for this portion here, we're going to change this up once again. So literally what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, right? So laptop, phone, fake ID. And then all we can do is we can copy this and just paste it over here. There we go. That's another function down. Now on to our last function, which we're going to have to unfortunately make from scratch. So it's going to be async def update underscore shop. And inside here, we're going to have four variables. Number one is string, or the name, sorry. And then the ID, which is also a string. We're going to have the description, which is also a string. And lastly, we're going to have cost, which is an integer. Now that we have that, we can create, um, the. I guess we can open up the bot, uh, the database, async with the bot.db dot cursor as cursor and then what we're going to do is await cursor dot execute and we're going to select or actually we're going to insert some stuff so do insert into shop values and for the time being we only have four values so we're going to do four question marks and then what we're going to do is we're going to define those question marks i guess which is these variables, very simple. Now that we have that, <coughs> we can finally just do await bot.db.commit and then return. And that's basically it, but we're not done yet. So we're gonna create one last function, which is one that we need. It's gonna update our max bank. So update max bank. And then over here, what we're gonna do is this one's actually really simple. We're just gonna select only max bank and we're just going to upgrade it by whatever amount, right? We don't need to do, I mean, we do need to do these checks, of course. 
but we don't need to do anything else. So put this check in. We don't need to check for capacity because, well, we don't really care about that. This actually updates how much capacity there is. So we're going to do update bank, set max bank, question mark, and then max bank will zero plus amount. And this will just update the max bank. And that's it for today's video. It was a really short one, and we did actually a lot. So at, um, next episode, we're going to be able to make a bunch of commands that will alter a lot of the data. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Till next time, go stick out. See ya.